back eighth graders, we're in section 8.1, example five. We're going to find the domain and the range from a graph. So we have three graphs here. I'm going to leave one of them for you for extra credit. How about let's do C for extra credit. I'll give you a point if you can identify the domain and range. I'm going to try and make this as simple and as painless as possible. The first thing I need you to know is with these types of parabolas that open up or down, the domain is always going to be all real numbers. There is nothing to think about. There's nothing to worry about. And the idea behind it, why is it all real numbers? Remember, our graph is continually expanding and getting wider and wider and wider and wider away from each other. So every number on the x-axis is involved in that graph. So it's automatically parabolas, domain is automatically all real numbers. Where you may have to do a little bit of thinking is with the range. Now remember, from example four, I had to identify the vertex and the maximum minimum. Now the vertex in this particular case in A is negative one, negative one, four, okay? Now because our parabola opens down, this is a maximum point. Our maximum is four. If you always focus on the Y value in your vertex, the Y value in your vertex is your maximum if the parabola opens down, or the minimum if your parabola opens up. Now maximum, what that indicates to you is that is the highest Y on your graph. You can't go any higher than four. Your graph stops on the Y at four, okay? So your range, remember, has everything to do with the Y, everything. Domain, remember I told you, it's all real numbers, no matter what. All parabolas that open up or down, domain is all real numbers. The range is linked to your maximum. So when you identify it, we know Y is involved because it's the range, and we know the number 4 is involved. So now we need to come up with an inequality that connects these two together. So remember what I said, a maximum means you can't go over it. So your number can be 4 or it can be less than 4. And so our range would be y is less than 4. So as you can look at this, you see, okay, here's 4. And our parabola, here's 3, here's 2, here's 1. Um, you can see that it, all the y's below 4, including 4 and below, are involved on the parabola itself. So that's what you do, is you take the maximum number, you put it here, and of course we use y because we're talking about the range, and then your inequality is, if it's a maximum, it's always going to be less than, if it's a minimum, it's always going to be greater than or equal to. Okay? So let's look at b. Remember I told you domain is always going to be all real numbers. Okay, there's no limitation here because... Uh, these parabolas, they go into infinity, and they get wider and wider and wider. So every x is going to be accounted for on the graph. Your range is hooked and tied into uh, your vertex. So the first thing we need to do is identify this vertex. So the vertex looks like it's negative 2, 1, 2, 3, negative 4. Now, because it opens up, your vertex is your minimum. So that means the minimum is negative 4. The y value of your vertex is the value of your minimum. So we know that number is going to be involved in some way in our range. What we're saying is negative 4 is the lowest number that our parabola will cross through on the y. And it is. That's the lowest number. So it can be negative 4 or more. So all your y's are, you start at negative 4 and you can go above negative 4, okay? Now I'm going to leave letter C for you. This is extra credit. Remember, you're going to list your domain. I hopefully I made that really easy for you. And your range is tied to identifying the vertex and determining whether it's a maximum or minimum, okay? So good luck with that. Bring your questions to class and we'll talk about it.